Hello everyone. Hello brothers and sisters. This is Yeshua said my name again and today, thanks to the Lord, uh, I am back on topic with prophetic updates. Uh, this video in particular, um, I've done many recently, but I like to keep you up to date like every two to three weeks uh, about the cashless system that we, this new world order will go to. And I uh, don't seem to um, want to let that drop. I want to keep it refreshed in our minds. I want to keep us up to date on how quickly this technology is going. So we pay attention and keep watching like the Lord told us to do. Uh, I have two actual uh, website slash articles that I want to show you. Um, the first is from uchip.com. That's www.uchip.com. And I'll show you where I got this from. Just so you can see for yourself. Intelligent RFID solutions. Now, Revelation 13 states plainly that there is coming a day with this new world order and this global government where in order to participate in society or buy and sell, you must have a mark in your right hand or forehead. And it is directly linked to the financial system or being a part of the financial grid. As a matter of fact, today when I went grocery shopping, uh, a card that uh, I received from my bank recently has an RFID chip, oh, I'm sorry, an RFID chip in it. Um, and it also has a uh, barcode, like a magnetic uh, stripe on the back as well. Well, well when I went to pay for my um, items today at the grocery store, um, I went to swipe as usual. Um, you know, sometimes, the majority of the time I pay in cash, but today, you know, I chose debit because it was a certain amount that I needed and I didn't want to take out more than I needed. Uh, but my point being that when I went to swipe my card, the lady at the register said, you can't do that anymore, that you're, since your card is chip enabled, you must insert your card to accept the chip. I said, you mean I can't just swipe it? It has a bar, it has a swipe thing on the back or whatever you call it. Um, and she said, no, once our readers are adapted to chips and if your card has a chip in it, it can no longer be swiped. So when we're, when we're talking about intelligent RFID solutions and we're talking about going to Revelation 13, where no man might buy or sell, say he that had the mark in the right hand of the forehead or the name of the beast or the number of his name. I truly feel that what we are being set up for here uh, is the very beginnings and platforms of this, that um, Satan doesn't just throw something on us automatically. He hunts and he, he prowls first, very secretively, very seductively uh, to produce this system so that it's not thrown on us all at one time and caught off guard. So this, this particular um, U-chip uh, intelligent RFID solutions, it says here, your U-chip is far more than access control and cashless payment. Discover the advantages of an offline system, experience overall reporting, enjoy customized modules for your needs. So they're talking about an online management system. And I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of what they're showing us here. Online management system. Eventually you're gonna have smart homes where you can, you know, tap your wrist with your card, access control. Now these people are wearing RFID bracelets, but one day you will have something most likely implanted to get you into a function. Notice if you look closely, they're tapping their hands up to these terminals in order to get in. And right now those are RFID bracelets, but it will get to the point where it's implanted because Revelation uh, 13 tells us. Now they're talking about cashless payment. Again, these people are wearing bracelets, but according to scripture, this will go into the right hand or forehead to pay and be connected to the financial system. This website also discusses social media and sponsoring. Notice the people being scanned at social events, going to concerts or functions or wherever you go. You can wear that RFID bracelet and have yourself scanned. Eventually, Revelation 13 says, and I cannot reiterate it enough, it will become internal, in the body. They're now calling it biohacking, and that's what they're calling it now. Staff and equipment. Notice, you know, when Paul told us, oh, peace and security, peace and security, and then sudden destruction comes upon them. Notice these people um, in these security shirts down here. So it's called, you know, staff and security. Uh, it says here, I believe, yeah, staff and equipment. I'm sorry. But there, there are office buildings in Europe where if staff wants to enter a building, uh, they must be microchipped. I believe, was it in Sweden? Um, maybe you all can correct me on that if I'm wrong. Uh, back office management. So here we go here, people scanning. 
back office management, person going up to a terminal and scanning. Right now it's external, as you can see. But this video is an attempt to keep you updated in case you don't have time during your work week or your family needs to keep you updated on uh, how quickly we're going to this mark of the beast, how quickly we are going to a cashless society. So this is just another rehash to keep it fresh in your mind. That's all, and in mind too. I also wanted to show you something I thought was extremely interesting. When I woke up this morning and made my coffee, uh, the Lord led me to this website. And I, I, a lot of times in this channel, I like to present sources from secular news sites so that if an unbeliever comes across my website, I'm sorry, my, the channel, and they're new to all of this, or even a believer for that matter, uh, but especially uh, someone who does not know the Lord, if they were to come across my channel and say, oh, she's just conspiracy theorist, it's all based on Christian websites that she's getting her information from, and uh, she's not credible. Well, the word of God alone that I quote from should be enough to be credible to compare to modern day news. But a lot of times I will choose to quote from secular news sources so that unbelievers or people that are skeptics in this or searching and maybe not sure, we'll see that this isn't just coming from a Christian website, that this is coming from secular news. And what I'm about to show you is quite shocking. This is from CNBC News. The title is called Satan's Credit Card. What the Mark of the Beast Taught Me About the Future of Money. I want to show you this. This is from CNBC. I want you to get a good look at that title from CNBC. This is not coming from an evangelistic website or from, you know, end time news or prophecy websites or uh, another Christian source. This is coming from CNBC, Satan's credit card. And what the mark of the beast taught this uh, journalist about the future of money. So I wanted to read a couple of excerpts. Uh, and this is another picture that was posted from CNBC showing someone's hand implanted with an RFID microchip for financial reasons. And this is on CNBC, hasn't switched sites. Uh, let me see. The, uh, the author, uh, actually, let me read you. Um, his name is Charlie Warzel. And this was published this year of May 2016. So this is recent. This is not something that is old news. Charlie Warzel is the journalist. And I'm going to read you some excerpts from this. Uh, you freaking out a little? Ask Calm's proprietor, a heavily tattooed man named Chai, as he returns an alcohol-soaked cotton swab across my hand. It's all right. You're getting a microchip implanted inside your body. It'd be weird if you weren't freaking out a little bit. Well, it hurts. His t-shirt admonishes in bold type. My choice to get microchipped was not ceremonial. Uh, it was neither a transhumanist statement nor the fulfillment of a childhood dream born of afternoons reading science fiction. Uh, let me see here. here. Let me go on down here. And then he goes on to say, I put uh, a payment chip in my hand to replace my wallet. And you can look this website up yourself on CNBC. Uh, here's another picture. And I posted this on my Facebook page earlier today. Um, I'm thankful the Lord gave me time to make a video about it. But this is on that same CNBC site. Uh, let me see here. All right, the power of payments is in the data they generate, of course, cashless digital data that they generate. And he goes on to say, uh, it's a little terrifying, I told him, but that's the brave new world, man. He shot back. Moving payments from plastic swipes to digital taps is going to change how companies influence their behavior and yours. That's what you're asking, right? Well, that's how we will do it. And of course, there's a video here. I put a payment chip in my hand to replace his wallet. I don't, uh, if you want to look that video up on CNBC, you can. Um, so even though this is not the mainstream yet, and, and like I said today, when I went in to do my grocery shopping, um, some of the terminals are being set up with, um, you know, where you can only use a credit card with a chip. And once your card is chipped, you can't even swipe it anymore. Um, everything is being set up. Everything, the foundation is being laid right now so that when Revelation 13 takes place, not if, but when, everything everything will be in place. Let me see here. And then the author goes on to quote from Revelation 13, which I find very interesting. Let me see if I can get down here, um, find this for you. It's a very, very long article. 
he's, he's a little bit lengthy and windy, but, uh, but you get the point. Let me see where I can find it. And the author himself, who I don't get the impression is, is a believer, <laughs> actually quotes from Revelation 13 himself. All right. And here's another picture from CNBC of uh, a person getting microchipped in their hand. So it is a surgical procedure, but eventually we'll get to the point where um, if you want to participate to buy and sell, it'll become internal. It won't just be a wristband anymore. It says, all this potential is intoxicating. Over the course of my month, I found myself unexpectedly buying into the possibilities of Bitcoin, RFID bracelets, and RFID chips waving my hand or waving my phone as payment. It feels good to be hopeful about these things, to imagine there's a way beyond crazy fees you never asked for, a way to replicate safety, trust, and stability without, <laughs> you know, it all reminds me of Paul saying, when they say peace and security, um, let me keep going on here. I'm just reading you excerpts here. Um, but the author goes on to quote, I'm sorry, I skipped it for you. He actually quotes Revelation 13. I can find it for you. I'm sorry that I missed it. Okay, where is it here? He actually goes on to say, he remembers reading it as a child and remembers um, seeing it. All right, I found it here. He said, and when I was asked, it made, me, it made me remember reading Revelation chapter 13, what Christians call the mark of the beast, where he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Otherwise, they can't buy or sell. And what I love about the KGV, to be honest with you, um, is the fact that they say in. Um, Every other version I've read, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, maybe the Holman says in, maybe there's another uh, uh, version that says in, but I looked for um, the word in and many other versions, and a lot of the other versions just say on. So you could take a bracelet, you know, like one of those RFID bracelets and, and put them on, and people think, oh, that's the fulfillment. But I truly believe that, uh, and I'm not saying that if you read another version of God's word that you're a heretic, but I truly believe that the King James Version is the most trustworthy, and that's just my own personal conviction. You have to pray about that with the Lord. But it says in the right hand or in the forehead, which means it will go into the body. It will no longer be external. It will be internal, and it connects you to the financial system. Um, what, again, I'm going to end this video telling you I wanted to make it to update you, to keep in the forefront of your mind of the technology that exists, the platform that is being laid, how quickly we are getting there, and just to keep you thinking and keep you watching. And again, look at this title from CNBC, Satan's Credit Card, What the Mark of the Beast Taught Me About the Future of Money. And I want you to see that one more time. This is not a Christian website. Sorry about that. This is not a Christian website. This is coming from a secular news source, and you can look it up yourself. So this is just another refresher uh, that I wanted to do because it's too easy to get caught up in what we do every day and lose sight of watching. Uh, keep watching. Keep doing your research prayerfully. Everything you read, everything you hear, I don't care if it's from a pulpit, a book, a movie, please check it out through prayer and the Holy Spirit with you and Jesus, and what God's Word says from Genesis to Revelation. I hope this blessed someone today. Uh, keep watching.